Um, so a bit, a bit of sad news, really. Um, although I didn't really greatly know him personally, I'd had a little bit of interaction over the years. Uh, so anyone who is aware of, um, well, you watch, you've all seen Paul Sykes at large, which is really what got me in um, discovering a writing career. Um, so I've, I've kind of, you know, there's certain things regarding the film and the documentary which can't be announced yet. Um, yeah, you know, to to kind of to give you, I mean, one thing I can tell you is there's going to be a film by Western Edge Pictures. And then there's going to be a, a documentary. So when you're seeing Lenny McLean years ago, there was a film and there was a documentary. So I kind of got a few people together and, you know, a few faces such as The Showers and John Spensley. And that. obviously they're going to be um, particular, uh, quite a poignant part of, of the Paul Sykes documentary, certainly. And um, obviously, you know, as I'm going to be in Wakefield quite a bit when it when it all starts. Uh, so one guy I come across a couple of years back, um, and I always meant to get back to him. So I, I'd had quite a lot of interaction with him, 2015, 2016, 2017, was um, Kenny, the tailor, um, that unforgettable character that you see from Paul Sykes at large. Um, you know, Paul walks into his shop, uh, which was on Westgate. And, um, you know, he's like, ah, Paul, great to see you. Oh, no, there's double, you know, pretty camp. Um, and, you know, P Paul's like, look, Kenny, I'm not the, the world's best dressed man. No fault of yours, and I need a suit on credit. So, um, you know, I interviewed him a couple of years back, and I, and I put, look, this film's happening, documentary's happening, Will you be part of the documentary? So, um, anyway, that time had come today. And, uh, I mean, he was getting on. I mean, when I interviewed him, I can't remember off the top of my head. The details are in the book. Um, and, I mean, he must have been 88 then. I Mid-80s. Yeah, you know, so... Anyway, and I, I've just um, I dug out his number and his address and all that, and I thought I'll go and pop and see him next week, and I'll say, look, um, films happening, and documentaries happening. And can can we include you? Because he was um, very unforgettable at the documentary. You know, he, he was only in it for a couple of a couple of minutes, but he was one of the characters that stands out along with along with characters such as Dennis Flint and um, Too True. The, the singers. Um, sadly, one of them's no longer with us now. Um, but anyway, Kenny, um, he's no longer with us, unfortunately. Yeah, he. Um, I would. I was gonna call in and see him this week, and um, I, I've you know dug a little bit deeper, and he pa he sadly passed away um, about eleven months ago. Uh, I put a picture up of him on the Facebook. Paul Sykes page about an hour ago, um, and he just looked very much the same. Put a put a pair of glasses on him. Um, he, he lived to quite a good age, you know. As I said, he was in his nineties, um, early nineties, maybe even mid nineties. He, he was, um, as I said, I'm sure I've written it down in in Sykes and Finished Agony, which was the first book I'd done about five years back. Um, I was talking to someone I knew him quite recently, and they said towards the end of his life. He had to have his foot removed. Um, but yeah, you know, if, if anyone who's watched Paul Sykes at large, it's 10% as much as what I've done. I mean, I, I've watched that 100 times easy. And I'm not kidding, by the way, in 10 years, I've watched that 100 times. And um, as I said, he's one of the kind of characters that you just, you don't forget, even though he's on for a couple of minutes. Um you know, Kenny actually said to me, said, Jamie, he said, when you watch that Paul Sykes at large, I think it's two and a half, maybe three minutes, three and a half at the most. And he said, um, you know, it was all scripted. It wasn't exactly like Geordie Shaw or this is Essex or whatever. But, you know, the filmmakers, 
um, Nick Lord and Roger Greenwood. There was there was a script that the the people had to set out, so it kind of plays out like Paul had just walked in the shop and at random asked him for a suit. In actual fact, Kenny said to me, he said they were in my shop for about three and a half hours, and because Paul Sykes was there, I didn't have any other cost customers in that day. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I would have loved to have. Um, I mean, I, I meet a lot of characters last couple, you know, I, I meet some proper famous people. I meet some heroes of mine. Um, you know, lots of boxers, lots of Celtic players. and um, But you know what? I'd have probably been a little bit starstruck if, if I could have got Kenny in the documentary. Uh, and, you know, there are quite a few of them now, in particular people from, from Sweet Agony, which is, which is the book I've read a couple of times. The characters are kind of dropping now. Um, particularly in Sweet Agony, Ronnie Trellfall's no longer here. David Dunford's no longer here. Um, oh, you know, if I, if I sat and thought about it and ticked them all off, um, yeah, it's you know, but it was a long time ago. I mean, that that book, Sweet Agony, that was written from March seventy seven, and it finishes up in June seventy nine. So it's only written in like. Two year, three months. Although it was kind of published back end of the eighty nineteen ninety, I think it was. Um, but it's about that time when his boxing career taken off, and uh, and it's an iconic book, isn't it? It's um, it's it, rightly so today. It's got cult status, and um, before I come along, I seen, you know, getting a copy of Sweet Agony was as rare as rock and roll shit. And I seen some of the prices for like three hundred quid. I think I bought one for about fifty, sixty quid a couple of years back. And uh, I first read it in two thousand fifteen, um, and I was a bit disappointed because I wanted to know what happened with Paul Sykes. And uh, obviously, I'm watching the documentary and you know finding he's no longer with us on his sad, tragic demise. Um, all extremely harrowing tale. But Sweet Agony doesn't, you know, it as I said, it's written. Um, it it's ten years before that documentary, so um, that was what I wanted to do when I done the books on finished agony, fair agony, and final agony. You get what kind of path in life Paul Sykes had chose, but um, yeah, you know, I mean, there's still a there's still a couple of the characters about Delroy Showers is is still about um, uh, God, uh, Phil Wheatley, the governor with the glasses and the beard up away, looks like a bit like a werewolf. Um, Olivia O'Leary, the girl who presents it, she she's still a. But there's a lot of people. Um, Detective Sergeant Mackay, Dave Mackay, he's gone. Um, yeah, you know. So yeah, it's uh, the the sadly all gone, you know. And there's so many unforgettable characters in that, isn't there? Um, you know, if I sat and thought about it, too true. Dennis Flint, um, Paul Junior, Caps Pairs, two ten. was missing eight pound was put. You could you could just go on and on and on. Um, you know, if I was sat in the Lubs at Boys Club. Um, sadly, one of them young kids is no longer with us. He gets ah, um, oh, you know, yeah. There's there's a lot of people no longer here, but um, Kenny he lived to a good age and he had a good innings and. Um, as I said, it was a bit. I was a bit disappointed. I would have loved to have said to Vaughan Civil when the when you know the the documentary comes and I say, listen, we've got we've got to you've got to get Kenny on, and uh, he was all up for it. But sadly, you know, he's um, he's now in the tailors in the sky, um, making double breasted suits. So yeah, very very sad. But um, yeah, you know, life. But we we're all going there eventually, aren't we? But um, anyway, there's I mean, listen, I can do videos all day. Brian Clough, Lee Duffy, you know, lots of different things I cover, Jack the Ripper and all that, and um, you know, but particularly the Paul Sykes ones with the leader, the go crackers. So I'm sure there'll be loads of comments underneath. Um, as I said the other day, feel free to ask away. Just keep them amicable and civil and reasonable. Um, you know, I haven't got time to interact and uh, nonsense. Do you know what I mean? But more, most of you are 
a good bunch. And um, as I said, I'll ask, I'll ask most things. Uh, I, I know, well, you know, I've made it my vocation in life to to find everything out on book, book Paul Sykes. Hence the reason why the books were signed, because obviously it's going to make um, it's going to take Vaughn Civil. It saved him years of research, basically. Um, so I've, you know, I'm going to be like a technical advisor to um and that's going to happen but as i said i would have loved to have had old kenny and uh it's not to be so um if anyone sat thinking oh who's kenny i've put the picture on uh the thumbnail of this video glasses um taylor and um yeah i'm gonna be filming this year um so uh, there's, there's things i can't announce but um, I'm going to be in, Whittle, in um, Wakefield quite a bit and uh, I'm going to be filming uh, certain things. Obviously, it's to Vaughan Civil and his and um, Leo Bill, who's written the script. They'll be announcing who's playing Paul, who's doing the full soundtrack. All the kind of different big, big things. But, uh, you know, I I've had to be careful because, listen, if we hadn't signed a contract in 2017, there'd have been... A couple of Paul Sykes documentaries already done, like I'd done with Flea Duffy, but of course, um, I've you know I've kind of with, with a contract's a contract basically. But what I am going to do is go up to um, certain parts and speak to people and look it and all these kind of things, and uh, you know, I, I know the story inside out. So um, yeah, I do. Uh, I'm quite attached to Wakefield. I've got a um, got a lot of a lot of love for it. Um, as I said, you know, in a video not long, but I get how the books and the projects went for everyone. And, um, you know, to, it has ruffled a few people's fe feathers in Wakefield. When you, I mean, my, my point is, if you, if you any of you can, the hashtag Paul Sykes, um, particularly on the Wakefield sites, on your Facebooks, your Twitters, um, you see a lot of the comments and people, you know, listen, I'm not from Wakefield, so I get it. You know, there's a lot of people who comment and say he was just a god awful man, and he'd done this and he'd done that, and he scared my daughter. And when these people are writing comments, you'll see like eighty people liking it, and these are all people from the from the estates of Wakefield. So listen, I wasn't there. I've got you know what I mean, but um, you know, he, he said, but then there's the other people as well who were just like, oh no, and the the one here bad word said against him, and there's a lot of them. But you know, listen. There's a lot of people who um, uh, describe him as just Beelzy Bob. He, he was Satan. Uh, he was just a god awful, truly awful man. Um, their words, not mine. But either way, listen. He was a guy who, um, for me as a writer, um, you know, he was incredible. He was just, you know, what a what a one off character and. Um, you know, even even certain people who despise him said, "Well, actually, I get it. You know, his life is fascinating for the re why, why was he like that?" And you know, my my personal opinion was obviously he was um, emotionally and physically damaged at the, at the start of his life, and he never really recovered from that. But um, it's gonna be it's gonna be good to watch the film when they portray all this, and you know. There's two sides to a story, and in every action, there's a reaction. And yes, you know about the violent thug who was this guy who lived by his own rules. But what was the reason he was like that? And um, I, I, you know, I know that will personally be explained. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to going back to Wakefield this year and um, doing quite a bit of work in there. But listen, last word goes to Kenny. Oh yeah, listen. As I said, he'll be in the big tailors up in the sky now. Um. Measuring people and, you know, uh, yeah, it's uh, he was unforgettable, wasn't he? And um, definitely one I completely missed out on. I, I should have probably, you know, I should have made more of an effort. And yes, I've interviewed him several times, but I would have I would have loved to have got him on the screen and uh, got his full personality shining out. And um, yeah, but it's not to be. And um, it's one of them things, isn't it? So... I wonder whether I wonder whether um cuz I've read the synopsis for the film and I've had it with you know my business partner who spoke to um Western Edge Pictures and so we've got ideas 
uh, you know, as I said, the film starts in 1989. Um, so, you know, I've, we have a very, very good idea of what the film's going to be like. But uh, it will be interesting, you know, as I said, listen, uh, too true. I would love to see them in the film. Kenny would have been great. And if, you know, Dennis Flint, in my opinion, must be in the film. But I don't know. We'll wait and see, won't we? But uh, listen, there's a lot of people out there really looking forward to uh, to the film and the documentary happening. So anyway, Kenny, last words to you, old soldier. God bless. Rest in peace. And uh, it was a pleasure speaking to you the times I did. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And um, anyone who's wanting more information regarding the Paul Sykes books, projects, films, documentaries, um, you know, I seen someone releasing um, they're releasing a another Paul Sykes book. Uh, so obviously, as at War Cry Publishing, we're responsible. We we've got all four, and um, this guy put um, there's a book, and it's about. I think it's make believe. I think it's quite, but it's basically Paul Sykes, who was a Leeds hooligan. Uh, so it's kind of like a, a Lee Duffy, Viv, uh, Lee Duffy Paul Sykes story. Uh, it's on Amazon now. It's called Hooligan Agony. Uh, you you know, listen, there's people out there and they're doing things, and and I get it because I was one of them. So and I, it won't be the first one. There'll, there'll be hordes, particularly when the film and the documentary is made. That's when you'll see the people and that's when the Paul Sykes will no longer be this crazy guy on YouTube talking about punching sharks. He'll be more of a more of a very familiar face. And, you know, listen, everyone's heard about your Paul Ferris's, the craze, the Essex boys and uh, that's what will happen. You know, I don't know how good the film is going to be, but, you know, I, I know I know the the level of. um Details going to be made in the film. I know the budget for the film. So I don't know. Listen, that it's not hard to work out that when it's done, it'll be a Leicester Square red carpets. Um, but we what how good it is remains to be seen. But it's definitely happening anyway. So don't forget to click and subscribe, guys. God bless and um, yeah, Kenny, you'll um. You'll never be forgotten, mate. Why that documentary is... I mean, listen, it's been viewed millions of times now. Um, and that's not even a true reflection of how many times because I I, I was told a few years back by... Um, from the makers of Paul Sykes that Yorkshire Television can charge £400 per second for that documentary. Um, and there's footage that was never, never been seen. So that will be... You know, that will, in my opinion, money talks, doesn't it? And the people who say, no, listen, I mean, pe um, I won't name him, but a guy who made it said to me, he said, you've seen 56 minutes of the documentary. To film that, there was 20 to 30 hours. And he said, I'm never going to release it, but if you come to my house, which was in a part of West Yorkshire, I'll show you, uh, show you other parts of filming with Paul. And uh, don't be surprised that when this happens in the next couple of years, you'll see more footage of Paul Sykes, which has never been seen before. But, um, yeah, you know, that's the reason why it keeps getting tucked down on YouTube is certain parties who, are, you know, they don't want all this kind of kind of silent giant, if you like, of the Paul Sykes story just getting aired out there for free. And no one gets any money because it's copyrighted, but you've got all these small channels just sharing it and putting it out. And not so much now, but particularly when the news broke in 2017, anything that was put on Paul Sykes at large was instantly taken off. The last two years, I've seen it gradually, gradually creeping back up. But, uh, you know, I certainly want to think when the, the film and the documentary happens, all that will go missing. Um, at one point, one guy was selling copies of it on um, on eBay, £5 a copy. And, um, you know, everyone listen. I mean, I, I, that was, as I said, I mean, I probably watched that once a week for probably four or five years. Seriously. Um, it sounds unbelievable, that, doesn't it? But it's true. But um, anyway, God bless Kenny. And uh, what, what? What a face and uh, what a character you were. And I hope Vaughn Civil um, basically leave you some kind of legacy and uh, forevermore you deserve to be in the, the Paul Sykes film. I would have loved to have had you in the documentary, but uh, him upstairs said it wasn't to be. Thanks for your time, guys. God bless and have a great weekend.